Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're going to be multiplying two two-digit numbers using partial products. So we have the equation 68 times 43. We're going to start by multiplying the bottom number through to the top number. So we start multiplying the tens place by the tens place. So using the bottom number in tens times the top number in tens. So 40 times 60. 40 times 6, 4 times 6 is 24, so 40 times 60 is 2,400. Now we're going to multiply through the bottom 10 with the top 1's place. So 40 times 8, 4 times 8 is 32, so 40 times 8 is 320. Now we're done with this 4 in the 10's place, so now we're going to use the 1's place. We're going to multiply the 1's place times the 10's place up top. So we have 3 times 60, 3 times 6 is 18, so 3 times 60 is 180. Now the last step is to multiply our 1's place times our 1's place. So I have one, 3 times 8 is 24. After I've multiplied all the way through, if I have 4 digits in my equation, I should have 4 partial products. That's one way to check yourself. Then I, once I have those four partial products, I'm going to add the partial products together. So adding up, I have four in my ones place. Two plus eight is 10 plus two more is 12. I'll carry my one. Four plus three is seven. Plus one is eight. Plus one more is nine. And then bring down my two. So I have 2,924 is my answer. There's nothing else I have to do from there. That would be my final product of 68 times 43. Let's look at one more example. 54 times 37. Again, I'm going to multiply my bottom tens place through my top number, starting in tens. So multiplying my tens times tens, I have 30 times 50. 3 times 5 is 15, so 30 times 50 is 1,500. Then I'm going to use my tens place and multiply it times my ones place. So 30 times 4 is 120. Now I'm going to multiply my ones place on the bottom starting up top with my tens place. So multiply my ones times my tens. 7 times 50. 7 times 5 is 35. So 7 times 50 is 350. And finally multiplying my ones places together. Multiplying 7 times 4. 7 times 4 is 28. Now I see I have four partial products to go with my four digits, so I'm going to add those partial products together. Adding up, zeros plus eight is eight, sorry, two plus five is seven, plus two more is nine, five plus three plus one is nine, and bring down my one. So my final answer is 1,998. So when I'm using partial products, I want to start by adding my larger numbers so that when I'm adding, my larger numbers go at the top. We will do another example where it's similar to this, but um, we'll start with our smaller places with our ones number, ones place instead. Um, but the biggest thing to remember when you're doing partial products is to make sure that you multiply all of the different factors together using their place value. I hope that you found this um, helpful. Please click below and subscribe for more um, math lessons from the Math Maniac. Have a great day.